This is why I volunteer. Food. This, this fellow is going to tell me about my hat because he didn't been admiring it. I'm going to eat this cherry pie later. Tell me about my hat, will you please? It's a World War II. It's a lieutenant's hat. But the reason it's dark and not silver and bright is it was wartime. And the enemy would spot something shiny. Is and that you, right? Oh, yes. You get shot quick. Were you in World War II? No. Were you in the Korean War? No. Were you in any wars? Vietnam. You were in Vietnam? Uh, but I did not serve in Vietnam. Okay. I was in in 1969, 70, and Good. 71. Good. I ended up in Germany. You were in Germany? Oh. What can you tell me about, uh, what do you feel about that hat? You keep liking it. And well, there's a lot of history there. You, you figure this is why we're here today on account of people from World War II. They gave us our freedom. Otherwise, we would be defeated. Communism. They kept us free. You <laughs> should have a lot of respect for World War II veterans. And they're getting thinner and thinner. We do have a lot of respect. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's uh, one reason I bought the hat. It, it's, I just, you can set and look at that and just imagine, close your eyes and imagine the history behind 38. Gil, you have a good heart. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So the video that you just watched and listened to was made in June of 2013. I was doing some volunteer work and Gil helped me talk about the lieutenant's cap from World War II. I saved it and I wanted to add something more here because this is the night before Memorial Day. 2019 and this is also the year the 75th year of D-Day which was June 6 1944 <clears throat> the invasion in Normandy which was the beginning of the end for the Germans and communism at that time and my father he was a private first class in World War II, he drove an ambulance. He left me his permit there, some of his badges, permit to drive the ambulance, and the flag, of course, when he died. And there was a, an article written, I'll just read one paragraph of it, from the <clears throat> History of Company B, 324th Medical Battalion. It was an article and I found a paragraph that read, With other patients desperately in need of further care, we decided to make another attempt to get them through, with Tom Muldoon and Miles Haggerty at the controls. This time, no MPs barred their passage, so they innocently spied, <clears throat> they innocently sped on toward Burlington. Entering the town, they looked in pop-eyed amazement, astonishment, I'm sorry, at its occupants. They were Germans. Without a second glance or loss of motion, Hag floored the accelerator, <clears throat> and they roared off past the confounded Jerry's. Only ten yards away, as Tom later explained, and his broad Irish voice. It's hard to read because it's so old that <clears throat> some of the words are hard to make out. But you may know, <clears throat> if you're from Pennsylvania, that Bullsburg, Pennsylvania promotes itself as the birthplace of uh, Memorial Day. July 4th, 1864, a group of women decorated soldiers' graves there. I went there about five or six years ago on Memorial Day. It was a great day. Kind of officially, <laughs> if you can read everything or believe everything you read on the internet, Memorial Day is 
about 151 years old now. And I, that would have started in 1868, but I did read there was some activity on this subject in Georgia and another state in the early 1860s. And also, <clears throat> pardon me, this is the 75th anniversary of D-Day on June 6, 1944. So this would be the 75th anniversary of that event. But the war wasn't officially ended until about a year later, August 1945. So I just want to remember my dad, who would have been 100 in September. He died in 1995. And also, all the other men and women who sacrificed and lost their lives for our freedom. Freedom.